Hey guys, P here from Crunch Time Coaching. Today I've got a great video on how to develop a topspin kick serve from our tennis con all-star, Tom Avery. Tom Avery, this is a great video I'm about to share with you. Actually on his channel, got over 300,000 views, over 6,000 likes. People really like this. It's uh, three keys he's gonna give you on how to hit an awesome kick serve. And uh, we're super excited that he's coming back for tennis con four. This Make sure at the end of this video, what I want you to do is I want you to go down in the description area and get on the Tennis Con 4 Early Bird link so you can get your ticket early, get your free ticket. Uh, if you don't know much about Tennis Con, we get the best instructors on the planet and we help you get to that next level. This, so this year's theme is all about playing bigger. Serve big, hit big, think big, and play better tennis. And uh, if you just scroll down this page, you can see some of our past Tennis Con All-Stars, which most of them are coming back. Dr. Mark Kovacs coming back, Jeff Saldenstein, Ian Westerman, Jorge Capistani, uh, Lisa Dotson will probably come back, Alex and Simon from Top Tennis Training, Brent Abel is coming back, we'll probably have Jan back, my buddy Matt from Coffee Break Tennis. Anyway, check out the page. So check out this page. Let's get into today's lesson. Today's subject is how to develop a topspin kick second serve. There are four main points that you want to keep in mind. Number one is grip. You have to make sure that you at least have a strong continental grip or an eastern backhand. Now, let me just show you those grips real quick. Um, continental is going to be right there, you know, the hammer grip. And you can see the racket is on edge. So it's easy to come by the ball, pick up the ball, and get that spin. Now, if you move your hand to an eastern forehand, which many people use for serving, the hand turns this way, but notice the racket face. You see, now there's no edge to come by the ball. You would have to put your hand in a very awkward, your wrist rather, in a very awkward position to make the racket come by, you know, the edge of the racket come close to the ball. So you want to be, remember, not at Eastern, you want to turn it to at least Continental, which is going to give you that edge, or you're going to go to full Eastern backhand, which even makes it more of an edge, okay? So either one of those grips. That's number one. Number two, you're going to toss the ball more over your head. So you're tossing the ball back over your head more so you can get that good angle of coming up at the ball. Okay, so the toss is not at, let's say, if we use the uh, analogy of a clock, you know, first serve, your toss is out here, one o'clock. You don't want it out there. You want it over your head, so more at 12 o'clock. Some players will toss even further behind their head, almost, you know, at 11 o'clock. Stefan Edberg tossed it way back over his head. So that's number two, the toss is more over your head. Number three, you have to swing faster. That's right, you're hitting your second serve, and now you're swinging faster. And that's what you need to do to develop a good topspin kick serve. So, in the beginning, this may feel like, man, I'm losing all kinds of control. Don't worry about it. It's the only way you're going to develop it. You have to keep swinging faster because you're putting more energy into spin, not into flat out power. You're cutting the ball now. So, you want more of the energy going into the spin, therefore you have to swing faster. And number four, you want to aim higher. You want to aim four to six feet over the net. Sometimes I, I have my students even go higher than that. I'll have them go up eight feet, ten feet, because they just don't have that feel of how much you're going up and out into this serve. So. You know, because, in, you know, initially when people start, uh, start to try and hit this topspin serve, kick serve, 
the ball's, you know, right in the bottom of the net, or it'll hit the court even before it hits the net. So you've got to aim higher. Now that's four points, but I never want you to think of more than two at a time. Okay, so you, you take the first two. Proper grip and toss over your head more. Work on those two for a while. Get them down pat and then start working on swinging faster and aiming higher. Or you can do it reverse, do it the other way. Swing faster, aim higher. And then, you know, well, <laughs> you always gotta make sure you got the right grip first though. If you don't have a good, like I said, a good continental or, a, or an Eastern backhand, it's gonna be very, very difficult to develop. You're not gonna be able to develop a good topspin kick serve. Okay, so let me just demo that for you and show you what it looks like and we can look at some of the key points. Okay, here when I'm practicing, I'm focusing on two points, proper grip and tossing the ball over my head. Now, I'm hitting this kick serve out wide. If I'm playing a right-hander, I'm kicking it out wide in the ad court to my opponent's backhand. Okay, here in super slow motion, you can get a good look. The hands start to drop. The weight now is coming to the back foot. As the hands come up, I'll go to the platform position right here where the knees bend right there, platform. Now, notice the ball there at the top of that tree. It's pretty much at 12 o'clock right over my head. It's actually moving to the left slightly. Now as I come up, you're going to notice the racket is on edge right there. So that means I've got at least a continental grip or a full eastern backhand. So that's what you're going to need. That's going to enable you to brush up on the ball and get that topspin. Okay, now I'm going to focus on the two other points. I'm going to be swing, you know, really focusing on swinging faster and aiming higher. Okay, again here in slow motion. You get a good look. The hands come back, the weight's on the rear foot as the hands come up, going to the platform position. Right there, and now I'm pushing right there at that point. My feet, my legs are pushing up and out. Um, I'm focused right now on swinging fast. That is key, and aiming high. Those are my goals at this point of the swing. This is what you need to be thinking right at that moment. And you'll see right there how high the ball is clearing the net. It hasn't quite reached the net, but look at the height on the ball. But the spin is going to pull it back down into the court. Okay, from this angle, I'm going to try and give you a shot of how that racket approaches the ball on edge. Okay, here in slow motion, you're going to get a chance to see how that edge of the racket approaches the ball. Okay, now the racket's dropping right here, and right there you can see the racket's on edge, and it's going to approach the ball in that fashion. That's going to enable you to brush up. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Use those four tips and, you know, pay your dues, be persistent, and you will develop a good topspin kick serve. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Make sure your next step is to go down in the description area. So below of the video, you want to come down here. So if you just take a look at this video here as an example, you'd see your video that you're watching right now. You'd scroll down, 
It works the same way whether you're on your laptop, your phone, whatever you're on, and look for the links. You'll see I actually have a couple of different links for you to sign up for some free training. So make sure to take advantage of that. Again, TennisCon is gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna scroll down. We had Rick Macy, Brady Height, uh, we have Racket Flex Tennis, and we have new people this year too, Gigi Fernandez. John Newcomb, the list goes on and on. It is really an amazing event. There's Tom Avery, who we just had a lesson from. Make sure that you sign up, and this event is gonna be bigger and better than ever, so you don't wanna miss it. And we'll be back with another video. Subscribe if you like today's lesson, because we'll come back with many more videos from our TennisCon All-Stars. You don't wanna miss any of them, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell.